fans, it's time for another edition of Roaring on the Road as your Hershey Bears get set for their longest mileage trip of the season in just the third week of the AHL campaign. Well, the light start to the calendar continues for your hockey club as just one more game has been ticked off the season schedule. Arch rival Wilkes-Barre Scranton hosted the Bears on Saturday, October 12th in the first of 12 more regular season meetings. Thomas Kondratik got the Bears on the board first with a second period goal that gave him 11 points in 20 appearances against the Penguins. But the hard skating Pens tied the score in a shorthanded goal just over three minutes later. The back and forth affair increased in intensity as Bears goaltender David Leggio turned in an impressive first performance, including a glove save in the final seconds of the second and a breakaway save in the third. But forward Chris Connor, whom Leggio stopped on that breakaway, followed up yet another one-on-one -on -one chance for the Penguins and sent the game winner home with just under three minutes left in regulation. So round one goes to Wilkes-Barre, and that means for your Bears who gear up this week for their trip to Newfoundland will take a third crack at getting head coach Mike Havland his first win behind the Bears bench. The St. John's Ice Caps, who enter this week with one win in four games, return to sold out mile one setter for their second home stand of the season. The Ice Caps have an old friend to Bears fans, forward Andrew Gordon, who has netted two goals in the four contests with his newest team. All right, Andrew, we were talking off camera here about home and uh, the fact that really for the Hershey Bears, it's been the same kind of thing and not being able to get into a routine this early uh, slow start to the season. You guys haven't been home much yet. And just talk about that and getting settled into this new chapter in your career. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's familiar territory being this far east. I'm, you know, being from Halifax, it's a short flight over. So uh, I've been in the city a bunch of times, many times to visit friends. And um, so I know the city a little bit, but uh, athletically, you want to settle in, get a few home games in and uh, sort of, you know, get your identity as a team going. And we haven't really been able to do that just yet, as uh, probably many teams haven't this early in the season. But um, looking forward to getting two games at home here, uh, playing against a team who's also like us coming off just a, a, a slow start to the season. So we're uh, just excited to get back out there at home and uh, start getting things rolling. Take us through your decision in the offseason and the process in Winnipeg signing you. Uh, I don't know, it all happened pretty quick. Uh, Winnipeg is a team that uh, you know, apparently has been sort of looking at me for a couple seasons now and um, when free agency rolled around they were aggressive right off the bat. I had some phone calls with the, some management uh, uh, guys in the front office and things and um, it just seemed like a good opportunity for me to, to step in and, and play some games in the NHL. And being 27, I, I like to say I'm no spring chicken anymore. I'm middle-aged in this line of work. So, uh, I mean, I want to get an opportunity while I still can. And, um, I mean, this seems like a good spot for me. You know, my family's close. Um, it's Like I say, it's a familiar city if I'm in the minors. But my father's also from Winnipeg, as, uh, as Johnny Walton will know. He'll remember. But, uh, so, you know, either I'm up. My dad has a good opportunity to go with, visit some friends and family out there. And if I'm down here, I'm close to home. I'm, it was uh, Emotionally, it was a great fit for me as well as athletically. Well, it shouldn't amaze that many people, but uh, you know, no matter where you've been, you know, we, we caught up with you when you were with Anaheim and we saw you in Syracuse the one time. And then now that you're here, obviously it's going to be great for your family to be able to take a short trip and come see you. But home uh, was also Hershey, two special years for you there. And I don't think the people back there believe that you're already uh, pushing those late 20s. But uh, give, the, give the fans a little hello because this is what they're waiting for here today. I guess so. No, uh, Hershey's always going to feel like home to me. I always have a special connection with that city and with the, you know, uh, the Bears colors. And, um, I always sort of feel like a little bit of a Hershey Bear at heart, but at the same time, you know, uh, careers roll. You know, you gotta you gotta find a new home and settle in. And um, I'll always sort of circle these games on the schedule, but at the same time, um, I'm looking forward to beating them as much as I look forward to beating everybody else when I was in those colors. That's the way to go, Andrew. Thanks for your time. Best wishes to you in this new part of your career. Thank you very much. In addition to Gordon, the Ice Caps have another new talent up front. Veteran forward Jerome Samson had five straight 20 goal seasons prior to last year and is already clicking at better than a point per game average. Returning captain Jason Jaffrey, who suffered a serious injury last season, thankfully is back and ready to turn his squad around. Fourth-year pro goaltender Eddie Pasquale and rookie netminder UC Olkinora look to provide a solid tandem in the ice cap's crease. It's dinner time hockey tonight and tomorrow from Mile One Center with puck drop at 6 p.m. our time and the MNC Foreign Car Parts pregame show at 5.20. For Roaring on the Road, I'm Scott Stuchio and we'll talk to you soon from Newfoundland.